Honorable member for Thompson. Madam Speaker, Manitobans expect and deserve consistent and reliable health care where and when they need it. This means ensuring that our health facilities are built to high standards and are properly maintained. Order. Unfortunately, the NDP left a legacy of deferred maintenance and disrepair. Our government is committed to the highest quality of care in our health care facilities and is taking action to deliver on that commitment. Can the Minister of Health, Seniors and Active Living please tell the House about our government's latest investment in Manitoba's health care facilities? The Honourable Minister of Health, Seniors and Active Living. I thank the member for Thompson for the question. Yesterday, we were pleased to announce $28 million of new funding uh, for important capital project investments across the province of Manitoba. The investment includes a total of 117 projects. They include a redevelopment of the emergency department at Pine Falls, installation of a new roof at Thompson General Hospital, uh, systems, uh, new sprinkler systems at Arburg Health Centre and Personal Care Home, uh, fire suppression upgrades to Seven Oaks General Hospital. These are all investments that the NDP did not make, leaving a legacy of capital deficiencies and deferred maintenance. Nevertheless, while they heckle and chirp and yell away, we're making the investments that will make a difference in improving health care in Manitoba. Yeah.